Hello, this is Alana from the Brantford Public Library. We're here today to share some book talks and reviews by library staff and customers. We do this so you can have an idea as to what we're reading and what other customers are reading, and hopefully give you some ideas of what to read next. Our book talk today comes from Chris. Hi, this is Chris from the Brantford Public Library. Today, I would like to tell you about a book called The Dutch Wife by Ellen Keith. The setting is Amsterdam in May of 1943. Marika de Graaf, a political activist, and her husband Theo are arrested and shipped off to different concentration camps in Germany. Marika is forced to make an impossible decision, work and die in a labor camp, or have a better chance at survival by choosing to work at the camp brothel. Keith conveys to the reader seldom heard stories about forgotten victims in modern history. She seamlessly combines in a story about the disappeared victims in the Argentina Dirty War in Buenos Aires in the 1970s with the prostitutes in the concentration camps in Germany. The author successfully presents to us a novel of complicated emotions like love and lust and distorted rationalization between right and wrong in order to survive. It makes you think. What would you do if you were in Marika's shoes? I found this novel heartbreaking, thought-provoking, and thoroughly enjoyable. You can find this title in hardcover, ebook, and downloadable audiobook on Libby and Cloud Library at the Brantford Public Library. Enjoy. Thank you, Chris. I'm going to read a few customer reviews. These reviews come from a 2019 adult summer reading program. Our 2020 program begins on June 20th. Please follow the link provided for more information. You can win great prizes just for reading. The first customer review comes from Heather, who's reviewed the book Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. She says, I don't even know where to begin with this book. It surprised me. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's most definitely a character-driven story. My heart ached for Peter. I loved how the book dealt with mental health issues and addiction. How Keen could show from so many viewpoints how blame is shared and how action was needed in so many instances leading up to the big moments shown in the plot. Two families are compared in contrast in the story, both flawed in different ways. Through the characters, we see boundaries are created, broken, and altered, and how forgiveness plays a role in many of these instances. Honestly, it's hard to review Ask Again Yes without giving away too much. It's beautifully written, touching, and deals with some sensitive subjects in a way I didn't know I would be able to appreciate. Thank you, Heather. I've read tons of reviews on this book, and one statement that keeps popping up is how profound it is and what a great family drama it is uh, and the strength of forgiveness. I've yet to see something truly negative about this novel. So if you're interested in reading, we have physical copies which you can put on hold and it's also available through all our ebook platforms. Our next review comes from Kate, who's reviewed the book Playing Dead a Journey Through the World of Death Rod by Elizabeth Greenwood. She says, who hasn't toyed with the seductive idea of just falling off the map and starting over somewhere new? Turns out there's a lot of people who do just that, although apparently doing it really well is a lot harder than it looks. Greenwood digs up tons of entertaining stories of the ones who got caught and the people who do the catching. Turns out, Faking your own death for the insurance money motivates a lot of very skilled people to come looking for you. A fun read about a phenomenon I had no idea was as widespread as it is. Sort of like a combination between a murder mystery, true crime, and investigative reporting. What's not to like? Thanks, Kate. It sounds like a really interesting read. I had no idea faking your own death was something that people actually tried. I always thought it was something that only happened in soap operas where a character comes back to life years later or in those conspiracy theories where a high profile person like Elvis Presley is still alive somewhere and hiding out. 
under a different identity. It's funny to think that ordinary people actually tried. So it's very interesting. Uh, if you want to read this book, please follow the link provided and you can put it on hold. If you have a review or a recommendation you'd like to share with us, please do so. It can count towards the Adult Summer Reading Challenge. Thank you.